Good afternoon, my friends. I wanted to shoot a quick video on something near and dear to my heart, and that is online reputation management. Or more simply put, great reviews. Okay, so in this society that we're in today, um, I'm gonna back this up a little bit in time, like in the 90s and early 2000s, you know, we had consumer reports and things like that that nobody really ever read because you had to go and get the magazine and do the things and blah, blah, blah. Today, we have Amazon, right? And beginning about 15 years ago, it started changing the consumer's thinking patterns with reviews, right? So now we go onto Amazon, we go onto different sites, and we actually read, read other people's reviews, good or bad, and it influences the decision on whether or not to use that product or that service. Real estate is no different. So something we need to be cognizant of is how we look online as far as our reviews go. Because, got to be honest... I've worked with many of you guys in the marketplace um, as co-op agents. I've worked with, with many of you. I know many of you on a national level. You're fantastic agents. And the world needs to know about this, right? Because what this looks like right now is even friends and family, when they're, when they're thinking about buying or they're thinking about selling or buying any sort of product, even if something that they're familiar with, they're still going to go online and look up the, the reviews of that person even if they know them. And I know that because I've done that and I know many, many people who have. So what does this look like? Now that we're going into fall a little bit, you know, we're uh, getting late into September, things are starting to finally slow down just a little bit from this extremely hectic real estate market we just went through kind of post COVID, uh, uh, just boom there. Now is the time to do our care calls to our past clients, right? All of those people that we served, all of those people that we've helped over the last couple of months, give them a call. Always start and always come from a place of contribution first. And what that looks like to me is, hey, John, it's Mike Perna with Keller Williams. Hey, I know we closed on your home over in, uh, back in June just a few months ago. Just wanted to check in, see how everything was going, see if there are any issues, anything I can help with. Awesome. Now, the experience that I give to my clients, just like you, is very important to me. So I wanted to take a moment and just ask you about your experience working with me. On a scale of one to 10, how did I do? And anything seven or above is fantastic, right? On a scale of one to 10, how did our closing coordinator do? On a scale of one to 10, how did X person do, right? I wanna go down each person on the list that touched that transaction and talked to that client. Um, all the way down to home inspectors, lenders, title companies, all of it. And I always start out with, hey, please be candid with me. My feelings can't get hurt because anything negative is actually what I wanna hear because that's the only way, way to improvement is to hear what I got wrong, not necessarily what I got right. Now, if it's overall a good review and you're taking notes during that, that entire time, then you go into, hey, would you, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure, of course they will. You know, they will always say yes. Great. A lot of people that look for a real estate agent go online to read their reviews from, to, from experiences of people just like you. You know, I took a moment and typed up what you said. I'll read it back to you. But, and guys, this is the big one. We got to make it easy on them, right? We got to make it easy. I went ahead and typed it up. I'm going to email it or text it to you. Would you mind copying and pasting that into, into the Google machine, into Zillow, into whatever review platform, which we'll talk about in a second, whatever review platform you're choosing to use, right? Then you literally email it to them, but you include the link direct to reviewing you. In three clicks, they should be able to post that review and no more. Click the link, click the copy, click the paste. Done. We got to make this easy, guys. We got to make this easy because we're asking for a favor, right? We're asking for somebody to do something for us that they're not receiving anything in return for. So to do that, we got to honor that relationship, honor that commitment, and make it super, super easy. So for us, talking about review platforms, we are all in on three review platforms currently. First one being Zillow, because that's where consumers that are buying and selling homes right now go to. Second one being Google, because everybody's on Google, let's be honest. That is a Ducati motorcycle, by the way, that just uh, revved by uh, outside the window here at the Market Center. Um, and then the third one is Facebook, because the average, average human, the average American, let me put it that way, uh, logs into Facebook 14 to 17 times per day, depending on the day of the week. Right, that's where people are getting a lot of their information and a lot of the a lot of influencing on what to buy or what services to purchase from. Right, so again, I would recommend, especially if you're just starting out, pick one and go all in on it. Right, and once you get that one built up to 20, 30, 40, 50 reviews, 
then start expanding and putting um, putting a, a second one in and a third one in because what the worst is is if you have like three reviews on Zillow, one review on Google, two reviews on Facebook, it just doesn't look strong. It doesn't. But if you have all those reviews in alignment on one platform, let's say Google, then a future client that's interviewing interviewing you to either either assist with their home sale or their home purchase, you can easily text that link out to them and say, hey, take a look at my online profile on Google. You know, here are 40 buyers and sellers just like you that used my service to purchase or sell their home. And here are their experiences in their own words, making it a lot easier to, to just say yes to you and make that higher. Um, last thing, guys, negative reviews. Negative reviews are actually a good thing, not, and not actually a negative, right? It's all in two things. One, how you respond, and B, you gotta have some. So I'm of the generation where I remember when Amazon, specifically Amazon, got caught because companies were stuffing Amazon with fake reviews. Like companies were literally creating other Amazon accounts, buying something from themselves, and then reviewing that experience, right? And I remember when all of that happened. And so any, not to be offensive, but anybody with a five-star rating or even a 4.9 rating, I'm not sure that I trust that. And a lot of people are the same way. There's always gonna be one or two people that did not fully enjoy the experience for some reason. That's actually a good thing. And the good part of it is how you respond to it. So as an example, we had a consumer the other day that went on to Zillow and gave us a poor rating because they had, had claimed that they had reached out to go see a home. There was no response. The home sold and they missed the home. And I responded to them, and this is the truth, I searched three different databases looking for this person. Come to find out, they didn't. They did not actually reach out to us at all. It was a different agent they had reached out to. But because of our popularity in Southeast Michigan, they they saw our face and our name. And frankly, it was one of our listings, even though they didn't contact us directly on it. And so they thought, hey, I'm going to write the review here. So I had responded with. Hey, thank you so much for reaching out. I did check three of our databases. Would you mind just, just going back and taking a quick look to see who it was that you reached out to? Because I'd really like to have that conversation if it was one of my team members. However, I'm not seeing your inquiry anywhere here, right? And then that person actually responded back, I am so sorry. They didn't take the review down. They actually responded back and said, I am so sorry. It was actually a different person at a different brokerage. Now, fast forward a week later, a client that's interviewing us one of the reasons why they picked us was that review, the professional response, trying to take care of the issue, right? And improve that consumer experience. And then the consumer themselves coming back and saying, hey, thanks for looking into it. And it actually wasn't you, right? How we respond to negativity, because we can't control it, how we respond is how other people will see us, right? And judge us and judge what their experiences will be with us. So again, guys, online, profile management, namely reviews. We all read them, which means that for our services, we all need them, right? One call at a time, one review at a time. I challenge you this week to make three calls to three past clients and go get yourself three reviews to improve your online uh, profile. Thank you again, everyone, and make it a great day.